Hey there, and welcome back to the Shum Show. I'm Greta Shum, here to wrap up the last full week of summer with a weather and climate update. But, guess who else is wrapping things up? You guessed it, the Arctic. Up at the North Pole, Arctic sea ice melts down over the course of the summer, and it reaches a minimum right at the start of autumn. This year, Arctic sea ice hit its summertime minimum, getting down to only 1.597 million square miles on September 10th. Since then, we've been growing back. With higher global average temperatures, that minimum amount of sea ice in September is getting smaller and smaller. In fact, every year since 2002 has been lower than average. This year's low was about three times the size of Texas smaller than the average low. Dang! 2012 set the record for lowest extent on record at 1.308 million square miles, which is only about half of what the minimum usually is. That's scary. Chilling, even. So if we zoom out and take a look at the globe, we can see that this pattern of hotter and hotter temperatures is not going away. NASA published its global temperature analysis of this past August, and hashtag broken record, August was the hottest August on record, and even tied July for the hottest month on record, checking in at 0.98 degrees above average. Now you might be wondering, why does Greta always give me the degrees above or below average instead of the actual temperature of the globe? And that's a great question. We call these differences from the average temperature anomalies, and scientists use them instead of absolute temperatures because they tell us a more accurate story than the raw temperature, and they're comparable wherever you are. For example, if I told you it were 70 degrees, that would mean something different in Phoenix, Arizona versus Anchorage, Alaska, and in the winter versus the summer. In a Kansas City winter, 70 is super warm, and in the summer, that's a nice cool day. But if I told you this day were five degrees above average, all that context is already taken into account. Not only that, but if you measure anomalies over the globe, the small variations over all the different places even out. So when NASA tells us that we were 0.98 degrees above average overall, that's a gigantic margin. It's kind of like saying everyone on Earth is running a temperature of 99.6 for the whole month. Can you say, fever? Catch up with me next time when it's fall for another weather and climate shummery on The Shum Show. Need more of a Shum Show fix? Check out our playlist on WeatherShift's YouTube channel. And while you're there, subscribe!